Today we'll be looking at round two of RSL, that is Raja Software Labs in detail. Now this would be a programming round. I have made a separate video for the round one of RSL, that is that is that was the MCQ round. And in this video, we'll just be talking about the round two. Also, we'll be discussing about some of the previous year questions asked and what were the solutions of them. Okay, so make sure you watch the video till the end. After completing the first round for RSL, which was the MCQ round, you would have a second round that is programming or a coding round. In this, you would be given a couple of problem statements and you are required to implement the coding logic behind that. Okay, so the platform on which they take would most probably be Google Docs, but they might also shift to some other platform. Their main aim was that they do not provide syntax highlighting and you also do not get code completion. Okay, so it would be a very similar thing that you are writing the code on simple paper. Okay, something like that. As far as programming language is concerned, they do not uh, restrict you to any particular language. They say that you can write uh, the code in any language that you want. C, C++, Java, Python, anything you want. Now for sections, they might divide the complete uh, round into two sections that is section A and section B. In section A, they would provide three simple questions that uh, the uh, level of difficulty would be relatively lower and next two questions would be medium level questions and a bit difficult than the first three questions. Okay. Or they might give you directly five questions of different uh, difficulty and they would be from easy to moderate level. Okay. So that would be they they could divide it into sections or they could directly give you five questions now in this they have strict clearly mentioned that they do uh, they are not allowing pseudo code you need to write the complete syntax of whatever language that you choose okay so it should not be just what we are doing but exact syntax of what we have also they mentioned that logic is very important for whatever the code you are implementing uh, even if there are some syntactical errors it is fine but it should be as close as uh, what should be expected that it would be compiled okay so logic is important pseudocode is not allowed there would be maybe two sections or uh, directly five questions any programming language is allowed and the platform is google docs now let us look at some of the previous year questions that were asked okay the first question says that uh write a function that takes an input parameter as a string the function should replace the alternate words in it with abc words are separated by dots and avoid using inbuilt functions so we have input something like i like this program very much and in place of spaces we have dots and we need to replace the alternate words in it with abc so like program and much would be replaced by abc in the output okay so let us look at how we can code it now while solving and understanding this problem you need to understand one more thing that the solution of this particular problem is not very much important but understanding the logic that how we got to the output expected result that is very important because they would definitely not ask this question they would ask something like which is modification of this and very similar to this okay so they would maybe ask like how to reverse this or maybe not exactly alternate word maybe fifth word tenth word or something like that so understanding the logic behind how we are get, getting the expected result is very important okay so make sure you understand the logic not the exact code so I will basically show you start with the main function. I'm initially calling the ref function and it would basically give me the final output string. And in this, I'm just printing the string. Now in this, you could also take the input, whatever the string is expected, or I'm just hard coding it for now for the understanding. Okay, so this is the same string that was given as input. Now I will also be taking three strings, uh, two strings and an integer for my manipulation purposes. One is called as word. So this would basically be for to make sure what my word is from the last dot that we have encountered. Okay. Next is the final string, which would be our output and the final result that after what we have uh, done the manipulations. After that, we have word count to make sure that we are replacing the alternate word with ABC. Okay, so that would be the variable used for that. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just iterating through this complete string, complete the input string that we are given. And what and while iterating through the every character, I'm just checking if that particular character is dot. Now, if that character is dot, that means that we are at the end of that particular word. So we need to uh, do the manipulations, whatever are required. So what I'm doing is if that ca character is not dot, I'm just adding it to the word. 
okay and proceeding further now if that character we encountered is dot what we are doing is we are just checking if the word count is even or not now uh, as we know we had to replace the alternate words which is why i am doing that now if if that is even in that case we do not need to replace that particular word with abc which is why uh, what i am doing is i am just adding appending the word to the final string and adding a dot to it okay and re uh, refreshing the word that is uh, making it an empty string again now if it is the alternate word that is word count mod 2 is odd in that case we need to replace that word with abc which is why what I'm doing is I'm just appending final string with ABC and dot and then again ref, uh, refreshing the word to empty string. After that, I'm just incrementing the word and iterating, iterating through the for loop to move on to the next character. Okay, now the only thing that is left with this is the last word. Now the exiting thing that is the check that we are adding is to check for dot but now for the last word we do not have a dot at the end so we need to take care of this last word separately okay so which is why what we are doing is we are just checking if the word is not empty if it is empty then uh, the string has ended but the as the string has not ended we need to manipulate the, uh, we need to add the things of the last word what we are doing is we are just checking if the word count is even or odd if it is odd uh, in that case we are just adding abc if it is even we are just adding that particular word and finally we are retur returning the final string and I have also compiled the program and uh, took the output and we are getting this particular thing. For the second question, I'll give you a hint. The question would be related to a variation of Fibonacci question. Okay. Now, if you need all the uh, previous year questions that were asked, that is rest of the questions that I have, uh, I'll give you a small target of subscribers. Okay. To know how many subscribers you need to get the, all the rest of the questions in the next video, check the pinned comment in the description. So to reach that target, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the discord server for future updates, and I'll see you in the next one.